One of the things I love about gardening is that there's so many things that you can do besides just planting plants and, and pruning. And one of the things that you can do is make hypertufa containers. I'm here with Donna Wright from Black Gold, and I have no idea how to do this. So you're really gonna be teaching me right. as, as we teach the, everybody that's watching. So what are they? What are they? Hypertufa containers are lightweight concrete. And they really are. I mean, they really are. They're just very lightweight. Yeah, right. So we're gonna. But they look heavy. They look heavy, but and they look just like the uh, stone ones that mm -hmm. you can buy at the at the stores. But they're lightweight, and you can make them yourself. And so we're gonna show everybody today how to do that. Okay, you know I'm no cook. Uh, <laughs> all you have to do is remember peat, perlite, and Portland cement. And it doesn't matter what kind of peat or perlite, just... Well, peat, perlite, and then Portland cement is a must because that's the kind that will hold the container together and last a lot longer. Huh. Okay. So right now, we've got our peat and perlite measured in here as a 1-2, and then we had to put cement in, our Portland cement, in 1. And then we're going to mix this up. And so you're just mixing water. the concrete in with right. the peat and the perlite. Now, if we wanted to color in this... We would add the dry color right now, and you can get black, brown, red, and lots of different colors at the hardware store. Ask for the powdered color that comes for Well, I see a pot over there that yes. has like red on it. The concrete coloring is what it's called. And you could just mix that in. Is there a, I'm sure there's instructions on those bottles, but do you just guess? Or? I just guess. Well, because that's good enough for you me. You get different colors, light, dark, whatever. So it all, all depends on what preference you like. So now we've got it all mixed up, and you can't see that. Um, cement anymore so now it's time to add water and we're going to stir up. Alrighty. So what we try to do is like when you're cooking you kind of build a well in the middle and we're going to start from there and then we're going to take our shovel and go So now you're going to tell me when to stop right? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> start with a small amount and keep adding. That's good for right now. We'll stir that up. So it's just a process of mixing it all together. Right. We're going to need about that much more. That's what I, I'm your water boy. That's right. <laughs> ah, you're good. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to keep stirring that until it gets like cottage cheese consistency. I like cottage cheese. That's good. <laughs> but, but we're not eating this, I, I no. take it. No. A little bit more. Make sure your edges so none of it's dry. And as you continue putting the water in, that peat moss and the perlite is going to actually absorb some of that water and the cement. So. You're going to add a little bit more at a time all the time. Okay? Does that mean you want me to now? A little bit oh, more. Alrighty. What if I overdo it? Am I in trouble? No, then you just <laughs> add a little more peat and perlite. <laughs> okay, no, knowing me, I have like a 50-gallon <laughs> container of this stuff trying to make it right. <laughs> yes. Well, that's the fun of it, is playing around with it. A little bit more in this corner, and then I think we're going to get... Uh, so it really is cottage, che cottage cheesy, if that's a word. Right. I, I don't know. So say once we get all this done, and we're gonna hold it, like if all of it was done, here's the cottage cheese consistency, and it's gonna hold together like that. Okay. Now it's time to pack into the thing. So I'll let you stir that up a little bit more, and then let me to show you why you're doing that, is if you want the uh, edges to be really That's really freakish, like that, isn't it? That's cool. Yes, what you do is, you take your container that you're going to be using, this pulp pot today, it's oh, easy, so that's reusable, the that's the form. Line it with plastic. You can make a plain one now, or you could actually add bubble wrap to make that, that rustic little, look right there. That design on it, that's really, that's amazing. So we'll line well, the now, bubbles. I see moss over there too, what's that story? Also, what you want to do is if you want to have a little moss on the outside of your pot, you could just go ahead and line that right there. The good side of the moss against the side, and we're going to press this stuff, our mixture, right into that. Get out. It's just that simple. That simple. What we're going to do is kind of start on the bottom and make a nice layer there, and then we're going to work up the sides. I want to put some in. Go ahead. <laughs> You're ready. I, I, I've, I've become Zen master of uh, hyper hyper tufa. Tufa. <laughs> We're going to pack that in there nice and tight, and then we're going to let that sit five to seven days to harden a little, and uh -huh. then we're going to pop it right out of that form. So what you do is take that plastic, and it'll pop right out, leave it for another seven to ten days, and make sure it's completely dry. And then we're going to rinse it, William, with some vinegar, just to make sure that all the lime from the cement Because you do have some concrete in here, which has lime in yeah. it. Yeah, so, okay. and it's ready to plant. Well, that's amazing. I tell you, 
it's it's really beautiful to see sedums and stuff in here, but you can also do bonsais do mm -hmm. very well in hypertufa. And since bonsais as they get older get heavy, this is a great, you know, foil against, you know, breaking your back carrying your bonsais around. Right. Well, Donna, what a pleasure. You taught me how to cook a little. There we go. <laughs> That's a good thing. Hypertufa makes. So, you know, uh, you can go to our website, gardentime.tv, and uh, all the instructions will be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, just try this at home. It's a lot of fun. It's an easy project. And make yourself some hypertufa, but don't eat it. <laughs>